Welcome to the Performance Enhancing Podcast. It's like steroids for your brain. A podcast for people that want the best info, but just don't have the time. Get your podcast fix with the Cliff Notes versions of your favorite podcasts. No fluff, just the actionable golden nuggets. Having this much knowledge at your fingertips should be downright illegal. So get ready for another dose of Performance Enhancing Podcast with Satori Prime. Here's your host, Elon Ferdman. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to another Performance Enhancing Podcast episode. I'm really excited here for a bunch of reasons today. But uh, first and foremost, I just want to say hi to Stephanie, Stephanie Seidel. Hello. Uh, Hi, thanks for coming out. And uh, with her there on the screen for those watching live is uh, Xavier Dubois, or as we'll call him here, Zav. Hey, Zav. Hi, y'all. Hi, you. Hi, you. So the reason I'm really excited is because Stephanie is actually been a friend of ours for a long time, but more than that has actually been a product of Satori Prime's apprentice program. And she's off and doing amazing things, which we'll talk all about today. So it's kind of like a proud papa moment, Stephanie, here for me, <laughs> basically to have you have gone through your own process and own journey, which we'll talk a little bit about today to get to where you are today. So before I let you guys kind of talk and let me just kind of set the, set the stage and let people know what Stephanie's been up to. So Stephanie is the founder of the right brain entrepreneur. She provides onsite workshops and coaching to businesses and professionals worldwide, educating them on the science behind achieving results in business by using right brain thinking. So what does that kind of mean, which we'll talk about today? It's offering outside the box solutions to improve team building, problem solving, and employee satisfaction. Very cool stuff. And for those that listen to the podcast with Stephen Cutler, then you'll see a lot of uh, kind of overlap between that and what Stephanie and I will be talking about today. Uh, More you know, some, some other things you may want to know about Stephanie is that she's worked with Google executives, lawyers, nonprofits, and she actually led the largest vision board uh, creation on record at a recent TED event in San Francisco. And she also was featured at a workshop at uh, South by Southwest in 2014 in Austin, Texas. So a lot of good credentials under her belt. And what we'll be talking about today and why Zav is here, is she recently put a workshop together, um, actually a free workshop together, called Power Up Your Life, Discover, let's try that again, Power Up Your Life, Discovering the Fortune Within, and she hosted it on a breakthrough online media channel called Evox, or Evox, however you'd like to pronounce it, which is what Zav has actually created. So he's going to tell you a little bit about that project, and I think for a lot of you, Keep your ears open because there might be some great opportunities for you to possibly work with Zav down the road. But Power Up Your Life is designed to help you get rid of what's holding you back from the life of abundance you deserve. And instead of just affirmations and wishful thinkings, which we all know don't really work, um, Stephanie gives you specific blueprint for tangible changes that will make a difference in your life. So guys, huge welcome. Thank you for coming out here. And... um, Zav, I know there's a lot of background uh, on your history and how you put Evox together. Um, Zav, for those that, that don't know him, has tons of history in the TV world and actually has created a software company and works with, you know, you told me, I think, like Fox and Movie Channel and PBS and Comedy Central and uh, mm-hmm. BET, all these big, big players, correct? Yeah. Yeah. And um, recently you launched Evox. So why don't you, rather than me try to explain it, why don't you kind of give people the idea of what spurned this and and what it is? And then after we get that, we'll dive into more of what Stephanie's bringing to the table. Okay, absolutely. Thank you. And thanks for having me and Stephanie on your show. I really appreciate it a lot. It's um, you know, it's a privilege to get to know you a little bit, and uh, I love what you're doing and taking on. I love your commitment to people and having people have prosperous, abundant, amazing lives. That's really what Evokes is here for as well. So it's, you know, no no coincidence that we all get to connect on this call. 
Um, exactly. And I speak in paragraphs versus small sentences, so cut me off at any time when I start rattling off too much, okay? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you know, evokes is really the convergence of community, conscious capitalism, you know, like commerce, and really looking at content. And when we looked out in the marketplace, you know, a couple years ago, we thought, well, if you could bring things that people are already doing, people are already purchasing, they're buying stuff. But if you can bring um, an elevated um, view of what they're buying and give them, get them really connected to what and why they're buying it, you can start changing social behavior. So we're, we're a change agent for behavioral change in capitalism. And I love the model of capitalism. I think when you bring consciousness to it, there's almost there's nothing I don't think you can accomplish when you have a committed group of people who are looking at money and resources and making great decisions with it to shift global economies and, and global beliefs, quite honestly. So we set out to build uh, a network that incorporated that. We have an online store that we launched, uh, the Shop Evoke store, and we're about to shift gears on that. It was originally a Magento store, which is Magento was eBay's platform. And uh, we thought, wow, it's a really great and it's an expensive platform if you do the enterprise edition. But um, we, we did that. And then when we looked at what we were actually accomplishing, our store wasn't really representative of the green or sustainable or you know, conscious values that we really wanted. So we're tearing down a store we spent a lot of money building <laughs> because <laughs> it wasn't the right thing for us. And now we have a new strategy. We're, we're partnering with some very large distributors who have vetted out a whole bunch of vendors um, you know, manufacturers, and we really care about how those products are being made, wherever they're being made, and the quality of the life of the people who are making those products. And our research shows us that if, you know, um, our consumers are willing to spend, you know, between three and seven dollars more per a similar product in a $50 price point, if they're really clear that the people making those products have the opportunity for education, for love, for relationship, for real life, the way that you and I would want to have life. And so yeah. we're, we're banking on that. We really hope that people will, you know, buy and substitute products they might've bought at, you know, Target or, you know, Walmart or something like that for products that have a sustainable footprint and not just greenwashed, not a BS greenwashed footprint, but reliably, you know, you, you dem demonstrably, you know, that's a great product. So that's one piece of it. So who are the people that would, well, let, let's back up a step. So Evokes is what? When people show up there, what are they going to get? Aside from the shopping, which I think is kind of the behind the scenes stuff, but what is the intention and who are the speakers? Because Stephanie is going to be, you know, one of the representatives. But as I was looking through, I mean, you guys have tens of these type of offerings. So what are people going to expect when they get there? Well, if you go to evokestelevision.com or if you have Roku, if you look up our channel on Roku or if you have a Samsung Smart TV, Apple TV, a lot of those platforms, um, you'll find content from Ed Begley, for example. He's probably one of our prime shows right now, and he's building the greenest home in America right now. So we're looking at everything that he had to go through to source, build, create this amazing house down in Los Angeles. And so he shows people kind of, it's a fun little comedy. So we, we don't, we're not preachy or dogmatic. If you look at our content, we're really there to help people look at their own lives and make educated choices. Like how do I make changes? And that's, that's one thing that Stephanie shows very important for us for, because she gives people direct access on how to make some of these changes in their lives. Um, and so that content's designed that way. We have a whole series from General Electric, their focus series, which shows really great innovators across all boards of invention from um, pharmaceuticals to, you know, solar to all sorts of different kinds of things um, that educate people and help them go, wow, I didn't know this was out there and hopefully inspire some entrepreneurial thinking among some other people who are inventing stuff. Awesome. And this is all free, right? The channel is free for people to come, subscribe to, listen to, et cetera, right? It's all free content right now. Um, yeah, so we, there's a lot of content. I mean, we we have some we have some shows that are really um, educational, like Stephanie's show is very educational and practical. So you can go to work with somebody. We have um, other psychologists, um, sports psychologists, psychiatrists, um, people in a lot of different domains of transformation who speak from their own lives and what they've learned. And we showcase that. That's really great content. 
And our model is that we have to have really entertaining content. We have to be, you know, have shows that are fun, that they help us laugh at our humanity while providing some provocative thinking. It has to be light. Um, you know, no one wants to be preached to. We're all adults. Mm -hmm. We know how to make great choices. So Evokes just really wants to have fun with people and we want to showcase the best in humanity. And also on the on the conscious capitalism side, you know, um, we want to showcase the best in organizations. A lot of people demonize corporations as if they're not just groups of great people. And, you know, if you focus more on the great people in those organizations and access those, you can make changes in those other organizations. And so we want to find maybe controversial companies and find the change agents inside those companies and showcase them. We're never going to talk negative about organizations, you know, big corporations that people have particular points of view on, but we are going to find the people in those organizations and highlight what they're doing to make a difference there, you know? Yeah. So that's a really good point because you and I spoke a little bit before and we were saying how, you know, both of us are kind of the same mindset that it's about shifting people's consciousness, giving them tools, giving them the abilities to kind of live the best lives that they've dreamed up for themselves and just giving them the ability to do that. And I know a lot of our listeners are people who are you know, authors, speakers, coaches, trainers, things of that nature. So maybe you can kind of give them an insight. Well, what is it that you look for? Because I have a feeling there's probably a slew of you guys listening right now that would love to be on this kind of channel. Um, so what do you look for in someone that you partner with to actually contribute to this channel? Passion. Um, I think love you know, love for humanity, um, a, a willingness to put some particular strong held beliefs or viewpoints aside to hear other people's points of view, um, people who aren't dogmatic or righteous around their point of view. You know, everyone's going to have a point of view. That's great. That comes with the territory of being a human being. But, you know, when it gets in the way of making a difference with other people and if it gets in the way of culture, you know, talking, then, you know, I particularly try to get that out of our, you know, organization as soon as possible because we're here to facilitate, you know, a, a global conversation. You know, I think there is a way for this planet to really work for people. And I want to have people around me who have that belief system, who are striving for that and aren't going to get burnt out by trying to fight some noble cause. You know, it is a noble cause to, to, to fight for what we want to have a planet that works. But at the same time, uh, the righteousness has to take a back seat here in order for us to move forward as a, as a global, as a, as a world, you know. So that's what we primarily look for. Awesome. Really good to know. And then I just want to, I don't know if I'm allowed to let the cat out of the bag, but I know one of the things that in my circle I tend to speak to a lot of people about is how negative TV has become. Uh, mm -hmm. News, just absolutely horrendous. I mean, I have arguments with people all the time. I'm about like why they listen to the news um, and, and just everything is so negative. I mean, my wife shared a video with me yesterday about not to scare parents, but someone hacked into like one of those IP cameras and she was freaking out and I was listening to the news reporter and she goes, and the man walked into their home through the camera. And I was like, are you serious? Like the, the drama that they inject in people's lives. So, I, I, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say this, but you guys are kind of in talks with possibly getting on TV. Is that is that okay to say? Yeah, it's it's totally great to say. I mean, you know, when we looked at our business plan um, last year, we initially started out and we feel strongly, we still do that, you know, IPTV, which is what we're doing here, pretty much. You know, it's OTT is over the top television, meaning your Roku box, your Apple TV box, your Chromecast, all those devices that really bypass traditional you know, cable and satellite providers. And um, there is like in New York, where you live, you, you know, last quarter, um, Time Warner lost 25,000 subscribers. People are cutting their cable wires now because wow. you get great content and you can choose content, you know, better for you, you know, easy, easier than it used to be. So those companies, you can expect Comcast and Time Warner and the rest of them to start having they already do. They're, they're already in a bit of a panic mode. How do we address this big change in the market right now? 
And um, the consumer has a lot more power. I'm, I'm older than you and Stephanie, so my generation still tends to hold on to, you know, cable and, and dish and all that kind of stuff, whereas you guys are cutting the cable. So I have friends here in San Francisco who've never had a television. You know, they just, everything, all their content is mobile now. Wow. So we thought that was our play, and it's important to still have that play, but it's very coastal. In the Midwest, where a lot of the audience we want to reach are health, well-being concerns, highest rates of diabetes in the world, you know, happening in the Midwest, especially Missouri, Louisiana, Mississippi, you know, we got to reach those people through traditional means. So for us, we actually have to, to accomplish our mission, get on some direct TV, you know, Comcast, some cable TV providers. So in August, we're going to be, looks like we're having our very first deal with two large, um, you know, cable and internet, excuse me, cable and satellite companies. And then from there, we'll see where it grows. Amazing. And so just to give you guys a little perspective on how fast has obviously gotten this company to grow, you started uh, towards the end of April, April 22nd, which I told you 22 is my favorite number. Yeah. Yeah. Birthday last year. <laughs> yeah. So almost, almost uh, basically a year. and. You have how many subscribers at this point? Oh, if you add up all the numbers across the board, we're pretty low. I mean, I don't think we have, you know, our traffic each month on the web is only about 60,000 total. So okay. we haven't been really strong with our web strategy. But going into the television world, it changes the subscriber view, and they start you out with a pretty large, you know, quantity of people that's payable subscribers at that point. Yeah. You told me you were going to, like, automatically jump to almost, like, half a million subscribers once that happens, right? Yeah. 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 Which is huge. I mean, if you guys think about any business, I mean, if you, if I told you that in a year and a half time, you're going to be with half a million subscribers in any business, I don't care what business people would be like, yes, please sign me up, sign me up. So I just want to kind of make a case that if you guys are someone that Zav is talking about, like if, as he was describing what he's looking for, you saw yourself in that, uh, I will leave all of Zav's contact information and how to reach out to him. Uh, on the satoriprime.com backslash podcasts page. And, you know, I urge you, you know, at least have a conversation and see if there's some sort of content that's relevant that you can get onto this channel. Because if by August they're going to have half a million people listening, that's a, that's a big channel to get your message out there. So, Zav, I just want to kind of, on behalf of everyone, thank you for actually putting a real channel out there in the world that will, I, you know, I'm not going to, on everything I have in here, will hopefully grow into something absolutely massive that can become the medium that people can go to, to kind of get their, you know, whatever they're passionate about in their lives uh, from. So can you just share with people, lastly, what is the strategy? I mean, you're, you're a really astute businessman, had multiple businesses. What is kind of your three-year, five-year vision for uh, Evokes? Well, we launch um, this year alone. We, we there's the demographics for our channel are pretty interesting because you have the baby boomers, which have some of the highest you know passive income around. You know, between the baby boomers in the UK and the United States is extraordinary wealth, and they're now looking at ways. They've retired. They've made their money. Um, some of them are recovering their money from the crash but they still have a lot of resources that they want to make a difference with. So we're going to be launching an Evokes Boom channel for boomers, mm. and that's going to have a lot of monetization for healthcare and new life. I mean, these people are not my, my parents who did not have the same vitality for life in their retirement. These people are now out there on the court and they're doing stuff and they want to look back and make a difference in society. And that's an amazing resource to have that kind of wisdom and knowledge. So we'll be launching a Boom channel this year. Um, we have a music channel launch at the end of the year. We have some really amazing musical artists, some people you guys will know um, in even the pop culture, but I'm not revealing that yet. But our, our music channel is going to be pretty extraordinary. It's kind of where MTV started, where you actually got to watch music videos on a music channel. <laughs> mm, I remember <laughs> those days. <laughs> exactly, right? And then our um, probably one of our most important properties is our Evokes Latino, our Evokes Latin American channel. Um, that's channel we're working on very much right now, and it's critical. The Latin market in the United States for sustainability is probably one of the strongest sustainability demographics in the United States right now, and people don't know that. Um, Latin Americans, Hispanics in the United States 
are so much better about how they conserve and use resources, more solar in Latino households than Anglos in the United States. Can you believe that? So incredible. it's a very rich, incredible demographic, and it wants content that inspires. So we're working on an entire Latin channel. We have um, a woman named Concepcion Lara who was head of programming over at HBO Latin America and grew that brand to be a multi-billion dollar brand. And um, she decided that she's done with kind of corporate uh, content and she wants to move into a, a station like ours that's really making a difference for a larger number of people. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I'm uh, the reason I had Zav on here. Originally, I was just going to have a, a conversation with Steph and then she told me what Zav was working on. And I was like, people need to know about this because I just think it's it is definitely where the future is going as far as being able to hand select what it is that you want to watch. And it's these kind of medias that are going to actually be the future. Like, I don't think our kids are going to know necessarily, or my kids will necessarily know what cable is. I think it's going to be much more of a, you know, a la carte, this is what I'm interested in type stuff. So it's great to see that there's uh, people like Zav heading up one of these channels. So really awesome. Thanks for, for being here, Zav. My pleasure, and I'll just say one more thing um, before you zap me up, because, you know, I can talk long-winded. <laughs> The, the, the thing that I think we're really out to build is a community of people who are change agents and difference makers on the planet. And this collaborative notion, one thing that we're really dealing with is there's a lot of people, you know, where you live, where I live around the world who want to build something. And, and there's so many people who are building similar projects. That there's not a lot of collaboration. There's a sense of almost we're protecting ourselves because our ideas are so valuable that we're not going to share them. And so one thing that we're really working on internally at Evokes is how do we not be so protective of our, our IP, our intellectual property? How do we mm. open our doors to provide a platform that we can support other people with their vision as well? And um, we're having a leadership meeting here in San Francisco with some really great startups, some, some well-known startups here. And we're just going to talk about how do we go forward as a community, because the more we collaborate, the more power we have and the bigger change we're going to make in our lifetime. So that's an extreme focus of ours right now. And if we can help your community, if there's ideas that they have or um, projects they have, and there's something that our platform supports them in expanding what they want to do, and our missions are, you know, like this, aligned like ours are, then we're yep. here. Awesome. I just want to say one thing, and, and hopefully this gives value to the listeners, um, but you just said something about people always hold intellectual property very close to the chest. And we are, Guy and I and Satori Prime, and Stephanie as well, I mean, she can attest to us preaching this all the time, we always say lead with your best stuff. And the reason we say that is because people always figure something out and then they're like, I'm going to hold this. This is mine, 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 mine. And that just comes from scarcity conversation. That just comes from lack of conversations. And on the, if there was a ladder of success, when you get to a level that you believe there is enough for everyone and sharing things with everyone and, and being part of everything is the way the world works. Um, things will open up in your life that you never even dreamed of. So that's from the kind of like the personal development, spiritual side that, that I've seen. And I can tell you from a practical standpoint, if you're one of these people that's sitting on the sidelines, holding on to something really tight because you're afraid, I can assure you that every eight, nine, 10 figure earner I've ever spoken to will always say that, of the people they share the most, like they can literally share the keys to the castle. I built this 10 figure business using this and this strategy. There's maybe, maybe a percent, I would say even less, that will ever do what it takes to actually make that a reality. But by virtue of you being so bold as to actually openly share that, you've connected with all 100%. Because all of them are going to walk away with like, oh my God, I can't believe so-and-so shared this or, or offered me this. That's insane. But just know that they're not going to do anything with it anyway most of the time. So don't let that thing be the, the, the block for you. Openly give and openly share. Um, I, you know, We're going on three years with Satori Prime. It has never bitten us in the ass. Time and time again, sharing the best stuff, it's never bitten us in the ass. So hopefully for those that are listening out there and Zav, I hope that the people that come to, to this event are just eagerly 
willing to share uh, for the greater good. And, and I'm sure that's going to be the case. So we'll wrap up part one of this three-part series right there in our conversation with Xavier. And in parts two and three, we'll be talking more to Stephanie Steidel, who's actually put together the Power Up Your Life Discovering the Fortune Within program that is now live on Evokes, which you can grab for free on this incredible channel. So hopefully you had an eye-opening experience into some of the media that is coming down the pike. Xavier is someone that's very, very interested in obviously with a very aligned mission to mine, which is opening people's eyes to what is possible and shifting the way the world works. So hopefully you enjoyed this first part of three-part interview, and I'll see you soon on part two and three. Have an amazing day, everyone. Thank you for joining us on this week's Performance Enhancing Podcast. Please leave a comment and rate this podcast on iTunes. It'll help us get the word out. Thanks for listening. Now, go and implement. We'll see you next time.